Grand Marjon. The Baku call this Calibri. It's so delicious grilled. You had something to tell me? Yes, Grand Marjon. More of our fleet has arrived. Yet, rebel forces are pushing closer to our borders. We will not be able to hold our kind for long. That is not our problem now. We have a new home. I have my fleet and enough of my people right here. Majan, so many of our population remain on Arkina. Evacuation is very slow. If they do not make it, they were not deemed worthy by the Great Ones. Maril, it is all in their plan. And what are the singularities that are forming in this galaxy? Should we not be concerned? My scientists assure me that the rings of this planet protect us and offer youth eternal. We have found paradise, General. Rejoice in it and do not fear. We will take the rest of this galaxy in time. You're the last person I expected to see, Admiral. I'm full of surprises, Miss Faisal. What brings you to my new home? I thought you'd like to know we made contact with Riza. They're cut off, but intact. Oh, thank God. So how did you do it? Admiral? Appear to be in two places at once. I know you deny being anywhere near Riza, and Helena's own logs confirm that but you were seen. I told you we had nothing to do with Risa. I suppose Captain Johns was imagining you? Helena makes a good scapegoat for all of the Quadrant's problems. Someone was using us to take the blame. You have been cleared of conspiring with the Tholians. Mr. Astor maintains that he was under alien mind control. How is he? Why are you telling me this and not my advocate? Most of your crew have had their conspiracy charges dropped. With the Arkan at our doorstep, we need experienced officers. Your senior staff are on supervised duty. But I'm still in a cell. If you need experience... And you're staying in a cell. With the rest of Helena's crew getting some reprieve, an example needs to be made. There must be visible consequences. You're making an example of me. You were the captain. I just thought I should tell you myself. You weren't the only one who wanted the Odyssey back. You just did it the wrong damned way. This makes a total of 15 SFCs we prepared. Shall I replicate you a medal, Lieutenant? Just figured it was worth mentioning. Computer, 
note into ship's log that we have now successfully repaired 15 areas of Andromeda space affected by singularity formation zones. Satisfied, Lieutenant. An announcement to the crew might be nice. Something along the lines of, good job, maybe? I'll leave crew morale in your capable hands, Lieutenant. To Laura out. Captain's log, stardate 62121.3. I've let Talora out of the brig and she's returned to duty. Her attitude is still defiant, but she seems more willing to follow orders. I don't get how Bradens do this. It seems so complicated. Bradens get used to their implants from birth. Dias and I haven't had that luxury. You think she'll ever be able to do it by herself? Maybe. With time. It's been six months and she's no closer. We can't keep doing this every ten hours, Hanglar. We either keep doing this every ten hours, or we let her die. Unless you have a better suggestion. Yeah. Why not get a brain in to download instructions into her brain? You can't download instructions into a brain. You can if you have a Vulcan. I've been doing some reading. Vulcans can do this mind bridge thing between two people, sort of like a middleman between the two subconscious minds. So why not have Vonis stand in between a Brayden and Dias and have the Brayden instructor from the inside? There, that should hold her for a while. Keep her under for another half hour. It's not a bad idea, but there are so many unknowns and even if we could, we... Red alert! All hands to battle stations. And guard a bridge. What's going on up there? We're under attack. Shields are down. Get your patients secured down there. Hanglar! Well? We have her, Chief. <laughs> Ensign? This isn't going to work. I don't know why we're even bothering. Ensign? Most of the core is working all right. Power flow regulators, transference coils, fine. But these stabilizers just will not work. What do you need to fix them? Brand new prefab pieces from the engineering core. They're handmade with special materials and individually calibrated once they're installed. We don't have that out here. What's the alternative? There is none. Look, the way it is, we can run it for 10, 11 hours maybe. Then the parts burn out for good, and then it's another four or five months while we rebuild it, again. How much material would we need to stockpile? We would have to rebuild the core from scratch 33 times. We couldn't fit parts for 10 rebuilds into the ship, and good luck trying to find raw materials in a void for 16 years. Then we need to find an alternative. Yes, sir. I'll be on the bridge. Bridge. Romulan on the bridge. Say that one more time and I will put you in the brig. He said that last week. Report? On course for another SFZ. Still one day away at warp four. Why so slow? Josh hasn't had time to calibrate the warp core from the last attack. Bridge to engineering. Gillen, I need the warp core fully functional. <sighs> but you just- That's in order, Ensign. Do your job. Yes, Subcommander. Cut him a break, Talora. You're running him ragged. We're all running ragged, Lieutenant. He's just a kid. He's our chief engineer. And you've done nothing but beat on him. 
I understand that the last six months have been stressful and that tempers have frayed. I'm just doing my duty. First officers tell captains when their pushy attitude is causing problems. My pushy attitude? Projecting your own fear of losing control through pushiness. How dare you? Helm, full stop. Stadi, start scanning for Class P nebulas. Bro, what in the Erebus? We have to save our home. Is the chair different? I replaced it with something more comfortable. Well, that was quick. Assemble the senior staff for a briefing in one hour. We'll go over a plan to start rebuilding the slipstream core and what we'll do in the Milky Way when we get back. First, you're going to give me a good explanation as to what's going on. Talora, we don't have time for this. You cannot appear on the bridge after six months and pretend that nothing happened. Six months? I was gone for a few hours. For six months, we've been using Aleph particles to restore normal space and eliminate singularity formation zones in this region of Andromeda. During those six months, I was in command of a crew grieving over the loss of their captain on an alien planet. What have you been doing for six months? Tartaran. It's an Arkham temple for the Great Ones. The Prophets. The Prophets. My Prophets. Corey and the others have been trying to find us to get to us if they could. But they managed to create SFZs in the Milky Way and they're spreading. And your, excuse me, prophets told you this. The Romulans must know about the wormhole aliens. The prophets are there and here and they're waiting for us to save both galaxies. We are the only ones that know how to fix the SFZs. We have to get back. How did your prophets know that you would be here? to receive their conveniently timed message. They have this non-linear existence. Time doesn't mean anything to them. And were they helpful enough to tell you how to fix the slipstream core? They said to find a nebula like Tartaron. Not Tartaron, but that's all. Well, that explains everything. Look, Talora, I know this is not much to no, go no. on. A nebula that isn't a nebula makes perfect sense. If we don't do something about this, everything we know could end. How do you know? This could have been a fevered-induced delusion. This is not a delusion. Can you give me any evidence of that? Talora, it's me. I'm here and sane, and I need you to trust me on this. You're going to have to do better than that before I let you take this ship and its crew on a fool's journey. I am still the captain! You were gone for six months. You appear in a flash, raving incoherently about prophets and SFZs. It's more than enough for Vaughn to certify you as unfit for duty. How do you know your friends did not give up on us a long time ago? Because I saw him before I came back. Evan? Is it really you? It's me, Corey. I've missed you. No, it's all gone wrong. The singularities, Omega. I thought I'd never see you again. You can't get rid of me that easily. I'm coming home. I promise I'll find my way home to you. It sounds like a dream. It wasn't a dream. It didn't feel like a dream. A lot of dreams don't feel like dreams. He's coming home. We just have to wait for him. You don't believe me. We've been down this road before. I want to believe you. It's just... We've caused a really big mess. We need to clean that up before we can worry about Nevin again. Harkin on the doorstep. Why haven't I been cleared for duty yet? Uh... Starfleet thinks I'm crazy. Starfleet believes that stress and grief mean you aren't thinking clearly, and that you need to get better. Spring me. I can help. No, Corey. I agree with Starfleet. This is for the best. Fine.
Corey. Just go. I'm waiting for you, Nevin. Traffic on Lost Control, Trident. Proceed on Old Inventor 015. Recut power, over. Roger control, vector set at zero one. Stabilizer synchronized with approach active. Admiral, the engineers of the Helena are reporting problems. What sort of problems? With everything. They're saying that the ship isn't cooperating. That's ridiculous. It's a ship. I can't argue. The Helena's last engineer has been cleared for supervised duty. You get in there. Aye, sir. Control, give me fleet command. I need an available captain from the pool to take the Helena. Roger, Admiral. Admiral. The captains of the Rokuk and the Villanar are... The who? Klingon and Romulan ships, Admiral. Well, the captains are complaining that they haven't been given adequate time with the quartermasters, and both the laying claims to several parts used for cloaking devices, as well as a case of Bolian tea. They like that stuff. Yes, ma'am. Well, who docked first? The Romulans. Then they get the parts, and the Rockwalk can have divs on the next lot. And have them split the tea evenly. Uh, yes, ma'am. You mean the Rokuk, right? The Wakwak is a different ship. Take care of it, human. Yes, ma'am. Admiral, uh, the Cardassian delegation would like to see you. Tell them to make an appointment. They say it's urgent, ma'am. Everything is urgent right now. Tell them to make an appointment. Admiral, just got a report from the Gallant in Sector 923. They're reporting communication. <coughs> I need to speak with the Admiral. Clear the room. Thank you. You'll get used to the bustle after a while, Admiral. Can Admirals demote themselves? No. That's a shame. What can I do for you? The answer is no. Admiral, please just think about it. I thought long and hard about this, Elizabeth. You made some good points. But the rest of the crew is already getting off lightly. You said it yourself. We need ships out there, and ships need captains. Arkin forces are moving their borders closer every day. I get the same reports you do. And I agree. If we don't put captains out there, we will lose. But not Faisal. Is that your final word, Admiral? It is. All right, then. I will find someone else for the Helena. On the subject, Starfleet Intelligence has offered us a few of their captains. Perhaps one of them will do. I don't know if I want intelligence anywhere near this. I said intelligence, not 31. All right, I'll think about it. Good. I heard that Roe is back. News travels fast. Is it true that he just appeared? In a flash of dramatic light? Mm-hmm. Wow, so where is he right now? In the ready room. He just got back and he's already in the ready room? Talora's in there too. Uh... Many of you have probably wondered where I've been for the last six months. The truth is only hours, maybe a day, for me has passed since I left the ship. In that time, Talora tells me that a lot has changed and that all of you have done well, very well. I understand that we have almost a fully functional slipstream core and we've discovered a way to reverse the expansion of SFZs. Sir, I'm not sure we'll be able to get the slipstream core functional. One step at a time, Josh, we'll get there. Failed accidents at home with slipstream technology have caused SFZs similar to the ones here in Andromeda. We are the only ones that know how to reverse the damage they cause. So, our need to get home is not only for our survival, but also for everyone at home. Sir, with all due respect... How do I know any of this? I know I, I disappeared for six months, and now I'm asking all of you to suddenly put your trust in me again. But trust me, we will get home. And soon. Lieutenant? 
Yes, Subcommander. Begin scanning for Class P nebulas, similar to Tartaron. Aye. Ensign, return to engineering. Continue work on the Slipstream Corps. Any further orders, Captain? No, I think that covers it. I figured you'd be the last person to believe. I don't. Then why did you go Your goal is to get us home. I support that. Even if your reasons are suspect. Got one. 6.4 light years away, bearing 214-060. Setting a course, Captain. Engage. You're making a mistake. I have a patient who could die unless... You're uninvited. The result of an incompetent transporter operator. My objective was Lieutenant Dias. And uh, if you were wearing any other color, you'd have been airlocked by now. Science or medicine? I'm the only one who can keep Dias alive right now. In case you hadn't noticed, she's been injured. We've made her comfortable. You mean you can't cure her? I was working on that until you came along. Good. Then you can continue working on it from our brig. As for her, well, frankly, Tellarites are not my favorite flavor. And they don't fetch much on the slave market. Easy, Salon. <laughs> I won't treat Lieutenant Dias. Not until our safety's been assured. As expected, no deal. However, I will grant... Uh, who are you, anyway? Salon. She's my niece. Oh, lovely. The whole family's here. I will grant her an escape pod. We don't need any more mouths to feed. Thanks to Starfleet, my crew and associates are stretched thin enough. You can't leave her out there alone. She might never be found. Well. If Starfleet is as competent as it pretends to be. Ah! So long. You won't get off this ship alive. Neither will you. <laughs> I've been in this business a lot longer than you, Piglet. Still, points for enthusiasm. I learned from the best. Who, him? <laughs> no, my father, Thalo. He single-handedly ran the Venus drug cartel on Bovina. <laughs> Planetary shenanigans. Out here, the whole quadrant is our playground. <laughs> Give me the gun. <laughs> no way. Look, you aren't in a position to negotiate, but, uh, Phalo was an associate of mine. For that alone, you can stay. Besides, I like your style. You remind me of me. <laughs> Why are you wasting your time with Starfleet? They cleaned out my father. Hanglard took me in. What was I supposed to do? Put up a looking for work sign? It is true. It's difficult to find an inn with the Syndicate these days, but we can be found. You just went about it the hard way. Next time, just go to Hell's Gate. All those strings I pulled to get you into the Starfleet Medical Training Program. And all the time you wanted to get into the Syndicate? Maybe you should put her into an escape pod. Don't you have a patient to treat? If you let Dias die, I'll rip your heart out and feed it to you. So, when do I get some of that Kish pirate wear? Oh, please, you didn't think I was going to let you have run of the ship, now did you? Did I mention I'm good with engines? Take him to Med Bay and take her, well, to the brig for now. We're going to talk about this later, young lady. <laughs> what the hell is this? 
Helen hates the Mark IV gel packs. No wonder she tried to suffocate you earlier. That was a malfunction of the life support systems. It's a mess, Commander. They're taking out systems that Helen loved and replacing them with upgrades. And it's giving her an ache. They said it was like the ship was refusing to cooperate. And would you cooperate if someone was shoving the wrong bits into you? How long until she's operational? A week. Maybe two if these morons keep messing up. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be locked up with Faisal? Restricted duty until the Arkans are pushed back. Need a hand? Don't hurt her. I wouldn't dream of hurting her. You ripped out her deflector dish. That was Lieutenant Dice. But you authorized it. Grand Majan, I have a report. Grand Majan. I heard you, Muriel. Go on. We've begun installing Arkan weaponry on the Federation outpost. It should be completed soon. More good news after another. Have you enjoyed the beauty of this place? Majan, I have been attending to matters of military. Oh, they can wait. Come sit with me. Perhaps we should enjoy this together for a few moments. Revel in the life we've created. Majan, I must return to... Shh. They can wait. Muriel, you are the song of my heart. Come please your Majan. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Vigilant, Captain Maxwell. Commander Beckett. What took so long? We're waiting for Starfleet to clear the area. They've been searching for survivors from the Phoenix for six months. With warp travel impossible in the singularities, just getting here was an ordeal. I figured it was something like that. How many made it? Most of them. But we have a problem, sir. No, really? Anything from the top? That's the problem. All of our 31 channels have been eliminated. This can only have been done from inside the department. Nothing from Bishop or Korg. That's because Korg's behind it. What makes you so sure? His loyalty's been questionable ever since the Ramos fiasco. Bishop wouldn't listen. Sir? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? We're out here on our own. Helena can't take the fall for us anymore. Hetan's probably dead. Can't say it's much of a loss, though. I assume you will be taking command of the Vigilant? Yes, I will. You're monitoring Starfleet channels to and from the front lines. We are. Good. Take us there. Oh, and I need a keyword transcript of anything related to Helena or Odyssey. Aye, sir. I need a shower. And I need a drink. Admiral, I know you don't want to be disturbed, but I have an ensign here insisting on seeing you. Can't you handle it? He says it's a personal matter. Admiral, I need to talk to you. Let him in. Admiral, thank you for seeing me. I'm really busy, Lieutenant. What can I do for you? I appreciate being reassigned to the Helena once she's refit, but I'd like to request a transfer to the next ship headed for Baku. We don't have any ships headed for Baku. But Admiral, it's my home. It's in the middle of Arkin occupied territory. I'm sorry, Artem. There are people on that planet probably being used as Arkin slaves right now. We have to save them. If and when we are in a condition to retake Baku, you will be the first to know. Admiral, incoming priority message from Captain Darwin. On screen. Admiral, we're falling back from the scrim system. Arkin's coming in too close? that and we're calling off the search for the Phoenix survivors. No survivors? Only a fraction of the ship's wreckage was ever accounted for. All right, fall back to the new perimeter. Also, Admiral, singularities in this area are spawning fast. It's becoming impassable. Understood, Shelby out. 
The situation is bigger than Baku, Lieutenant. But we haven't forgotten about it. Captain, reading three Arkan vessels portside, heading towards us. All stop, shields up. Getting a signal. Rebel ID, it's their flagship. Rebel. Put them up. Sub Commander Chalora, I. Captain Rowe. Grand Majan. It pleases me to see that you have returned from the Great Ones. Let us meet face to face. I'd be honored. Right now, we are outnumbered by the military, but defections are happening every day. We want to help, but SFZs are tearing apart our home galaxy. This pad has info on how to stop them in Andromeda. We need to focus on repairing our slipstream drive and get home before it's too late. Serum continues to fortify herself in your galaxy. That means fewer ships on this side of the wormhole. If she continues diverting her forces, we believe we can retake the wormhole complex in a matter of weeks. Serum giving up Arkina in the wormhole is a tactical mistake. Are you certain of your intelligence? We are. If what we heard is true, and Serum has found her Eden, and will hold it at all costs, even the loss of her empire. What do you propose? In her haste, Serum neglected to carry out General Morogu's trial and execution. If we can rescue Morogu, his sway over the military may be enough to end the fighting. Where is he being held? At the wormhole complex. With Serum abandoning our people, now is the time to give them hope and take back our empire. If we can secure the complex, Odyssey can use the wormhole to get back home. Leading an assault with Odyssey will most likely end with our destruction. Perhaps something more covert. With General Morgu on our side, the station may fall without a fight. I think I know the person for the job. I have a job for you, Doctor. Not bit about last night's chess game, are we? It involves high risk, subversive agendas, and it's deep in enemy territory. You'll be working alongside Arkan rebels. Your mission is to rescue General Morgu. Tell me more. Ah! <coughs> Ouch. That looks... <coughs> Painful. Oh, who are you? Uh, you're Helen on. Can't you just read my mind? You don't look like you're worth the effort. Besides, doesn't matter anyway. <coughs> Kalina's gonna kill us. <coughs> maybe in a few days, maybe in weeks. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, oh, this will be fun. At least last time I was in a cell, I had Treya to keep me company. Hey, what's the security like around here? Well, there's more of them than there are of us, and that's all that matters. I'm Salon, Dr. Hengler's niece. Hengler? Kalino has Starfleet aboard? That bitch has a death wish. She's gonna get us all killed. Wait a minute. How many? Uh, me, Hengler, and Lieutenant Dias. Oh, so not enough for Starfleet to send a rescue. Well, no, probably not. I mean, you know, unless they give up on that whole Arkin thing. You don't suppose Hangler would take a look at my wounds, do you? Oh, oh well, I'm a nurse. <laughs> Why the hell didn't you say that earlier? Look, if I can get access to medical supplies, I'll look, okay? But I'm not going to piss off Kaleno by asking now. You'll live. <sighs> You made it sound like we would definitely take part in this operation of theirs. I believe it is the best way for us to get home. And it ensures that the Arkan side will be controlled by friendly forces. It's a bad plan. A lot could go wrong. Serum diverts forces through the wormhole every day. By the time we're ready, this side of the wormhole will be ours for the taking. And then the Arkan will just let us waltz through the wormhole, huh? We're better off attempting to fix the slipstream drive. Halt turbo lift. May I give you my opinion as first officer? Or does Stadi still hold that position? Speak your mind. Let us assume, 
for a moment that I believe your prophet tale. You said that you were supposed to seek out this nebula. What did you think you were going to find? I don't know. Some sort of power source, maybe. Unless we were going to find Starfleet's Corps of Engineers and the slipstream is not an option. We have a real chance to return home if Anira's plan succeeds. Consider this. On our way to find your nebula, we ran into Anira and her forces and this alternative plan. Perhaps your prophets had this in mind from the very beginning. Their plan and its benefits to us have merit. And if it fails, we still have the slipstream. It's a hell of a risk. I didn't realize Starfleet was adverse to risk. All right. I assume you've already drawn a plan together to get a boarding party on the station. I put our best on the job. Resume turbo lift. You know these LF particles? They're white. Yeah, so? They're a strange form of matter and they're white. So white matter? Sounds ridiculous. So does all left particle. Who came up with that name anyway? Two letters off and you have olive particle. It sounds like something you put in a drink. Well, at least it has a known scientific point of reference. It's not like we just pulled it out of our ass, you know? Yeah, we kind of did. It makes perfect sense. Omega destroys space. Aleph neutralizes Omega. Short and sweet. It sounds ridiculous. The fact that it works at all... Well, I guess I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. Well, just be glad that it does and let it go. Can we move on? Whatever. What about the slipstream? We're getting nowhere. But the captain said... The captain's been gone for six months. He's still the captain, Josh. Where has he been for six months? With the prophets. You believe in all that? I was stationed on DS9 for a while. Oh, I see. So he spent a few hours with the prophets, then gets dropped back, and six months have gone by. It's not linear. What the hell does that mean anyway? I'll believe in the prophets if you believe in Olive. I have something for the both of you. There's some information there about stabilizing power flows relating to Omega modules. I figured since your problem was one of stability... This looks great. Thanks. Why aren't you with your grandmother? She's busy. And I'm having trouble adjusting back to life with my people. Family history like yours wouldn't be easy, I guess. No, you're right. And I'll go soon. But before I do, maybe I can help with your slipstream problems? Grab a toolkit. You should feel better in a moment. We'll just do it again in another 10 hours. And again for the rest of my life. Doctor, release these clamps for just a second. It's all I'll need to strangle her before they kill me. Oh, it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the painkillers talking. That's my dias. It's good to see your strength returning. You're going to need it later. I don't know what you're planning. But she's on limited energy. If you do anything to exacerbate her condition, I can't promise... You keep her alive until I say she dies, Doctor. It's all that's keeping you alive. Then we may have to try one of my more drastic ideas. Which is? Juanita Vulcan, Hannah Braden. The idea is to create a mind bridge between Dias and the Braden implant the information into her subconscious. Then she can regulate the implants on her own. Well, then there's no time to lose. Is there, precious? <laughs> what can I do for you, Commander? I've been doing some research, and I believe we can adapt Tholian web technology to shut down the Ark and exit gate. Don't you think you should leave Tholian technology alone now? Admiral, I really think... I don't care what you think. Your grand schemes have got us in half the mess that we're in right now. Thanks to you and your team, warp travel across a great deal of Federation space may be impossible. 
We did what we thought was right. You are reckless and stupid, and now you're trying to make what you did worthwhile. Admiral, don't dismiss my theories out of hand because of some judgment errors. Believe me, in 18 lifetimes... If I hear you say 18 lifetimes, once more, I'm going to throw you in the brig and I'm going to leave you there. Your 18 lifetimes worth of experience mean nothing if all it did was lead you to this. Maybe if you hadn't been so arrogant about your vaunted 18 lifetimes, none of this would have happened. A friend once talked to me about the choice between loss and regret. I chose loss. Please consider it, Admiral. Your plan will get its due consideration. Admiral. Red alert. Red alert. The station is under attack. All hands to battle stations. Control, how many are there? At least ten ships, coming in on two sides. Can we hold the station? If the fleet were fully functional. Give the evacuation order, throw everything we have at them, then have all personnel evacuate to all ships and leave. Admiral, a lot of the ships are nowhere near ready for launch. They can get ready while they're retreating. Launch them. Get him out of here. Admiral, I can help. Boys. Jenna McFarlane, Mr. Dow, I'll take you from here. My orders are to take Mr. Dow. Yes, well, I'm countermanding those orders under Starfleet Intelligence Directive 498D, which states that intelligence officers can commandeer material and personnel in times of emergency. You better go find a ship to evacuate on. Go, go on. Toodles. You, come with me. When did they add Directive 498D? About five seconds ago. Come on. Docking port F. We're going to Helena, aren't we? I liked your Tholian web generator idea. We're going to test it. Helena hasn't been assigned a new captain yet. You're looking at her. I hadn't noticed the new pip. Congratulations. Thank you. Admiral on the bridge. Is the evacuation of the station complete? 87% of the Federation fleet reporting in. Allied ships all confirm they're away from the station and await a rendezvous point. Signal the fleet to head to Starbase 609. Which ship is Admiral Rand on? This one, Admiral. She is setting up her office in guest quarters on Deck 5. That's just great. Tag, you're it. Captain? First officer? Let's get this ship moving. Artem, you're all grown up. Permission to take the helm, Captain. So long as you take us to Starbase 609. Corey, he's locked away in a cell. Oh, no. We can't just leave him there. Well, we can't go back now. It's too risky. But it's Corey. Besides, I'm sure he's comfortable. Comfortable? <laughs> I had him beamed to sick bay before we left. <laughs> Relax. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> You enjoyed that, didn't you? Oh, very much. Approaching Stennis 2. Put us in a parking orbit around the second moon. Our ship is a little too hot right now to be seen. And while the Braden colony is too far from Starfleet to really expect help, we're not taking any chances. And that's where I come in. That's right. We have a Vulcan. We need a Braden. You want to be part of the crew? Find me a Braden. By myself? You took on my guard by yourself. OK. Sure. Any preference? Old enough to be able to regulate their own implants. And something durable would be a bonus. <sighs> Phala 1 to Baptist. I'm on course. Don't get cocky, Salon. Hengler and Dias' lives are at stake here. Understood. Approaching the planet, no signs of traffic. Hey, how low do I have to be to use the transporter? About 50 miles from the surface. 
You'll be less visible on the night side. Unless they have an orbital outpost with Federation tech. What then? Run like hell. After you've secured our cargo. This is the latest scan we intercepted from the other side of the wormhole. I thought you might like to know where it leads. This, this is Baku. Uh, this couldn't be any more perfect, right next to Deep Space 12. But you'd rather have not known. Uh, no, no, uh, this is good, thank you. When you return to power, what will you do? Sarah has done many wrongs. We would try to correct them. Not to be picky, but the invasion of the Kelvins happened before Serum came to power. Long before the Arkhan were dominant in this galaxy, the Kelvin ruled with a firm hand. They lorded their superior technology over us all. And their foolish pursuit of advancement without regard for consequence has led to the sorry state our galaxy is in today. If we had not acted, the Kelvins would have destroyed our galaxy long ago. It was the right thing to do. Oh, what Sarum has done? Try to conquer a people who've done us no harm? That, her wrongs against the Elosians and others, must be righted. So, how does Caicus fit into all of this? Sarum's consort, Caicus's father, died suddenly in a skirmish against the Kelvins. Sarum was ravaged by that. Caicus was raised by servants until his maturity, never knowing her. So Sarum never formed a maternal connection? And he is the spinning image of his father. My daughter saw the remnants of her consort, not her son in Caicus. There is much we must put right. And let us hope we can. Come to wish me luck, Sub Commander. Section 31 <laughs> believes in luck? We believe in whatever gets a mission done. These schematics are as up to date as the Rebels have. It should be good enough. When do we move in? The last major Arkan fleet is preparing to move through the wormhole. Once gone, resistance should be greatly diminished. Great. One more thing, Doctor. Meet me, Transporter Ramon. Our priority is to go through the wormhole and get home. If you have to choose between the General and Odyssey's return to the Milky Way, choose Odyssey. Got it. I think planetary defenses have picked me up. 1,500 kilometers to go. Begin scanning for targets now. Scanning. You've got company. Braden patrol craft bearing 18 Mark 59. They're closing. I'm no combat pilot. What do I do? Go low. See if you can lose them in the atmosphere. 500 kilometers to minimum transport distance. I knew I should have upgraded that. This is Braden Air Traffic Control. You're in a no fly zone. Pull up immediately or we will open fire. Yeah, I, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but. But it's a really long story, so if you could just cut me a break. Who is this? Well, my name is Salon. This is your final warning. Pull up now or we will open fire. No, no. No, you, you don't want to do that. Locking weapons on target. Oh, shit. She's entering our maximum range. I don't see this ending well, Tomon. Use her ship as a transport relay. Go! Energizing. What happened? Did you beam her off already? Why am I still here? Breaking orbit. She'll lead those ships right to us. Prepare to go to war. But Chief, should we not? Do it! Vaptis, I'm coming in hot. Vaptis, come in! You better hurry up, Silon. Kaleno's preparing to jump to warp. Crap. Need a little help here. Clearing the moon's gravity now. Ready for warp. Go. Wait! Chief! Reading a fault in the starboard plasma injector. What? Engineering, check relay 23. Stand by, breach. Salam shuttle is on final approach. The Bradens are closing fast. Should I open the bay doors? Stand by on weapons. 
Open the damn doors. Fire! Docking in progress. Blow them out of the sky. The second Braden ship is in retreat. I don't want any witnesses. Fire! Target destroyed. No life signs. <laughs> Engineering! Status of warp drive. We can't find a problem anywhere on the conduit, Chief. Check your display for faults. I could have swore. I don't see anything now. Idiot! Get us out of here! Grand Mejon, we have begun pressing the Federation and her allies back. Your wisdom is great. And yet you doubted me. Now we can begin again. Continue to press our enemy until we are at their gates. Yes, Grand Mejon. I will require a doctor soon. Our child will bring light into our new home. I require a male child. I do not wish to bear my successor yet. Have the test results come back? I'm expecting them today, Majan. Hmm. Incoming hail from Intrepid, ma'am. I'll take it in here. Evening, Admiral. It's morning by ship's clock, Danny. The bags under your eyes say differently. We had to evacuate 621 quickly. I heard. Any casualties? We're doing head counts now. It's one thing after another. The Dominion, the Grey, Ciroc, Arkans, and now black holes that come out of nowhere. I don't think I've actually met any new life forms since. Medra? Don't go there. When was the last time you slept? Last... Too long, then. Go get some sleep. The wall will still be here when you wake up. What would I do without you, Danny? Probably overwork yourself to death. Admiral, the ship count is complete. And? All the ships are accounted for, except Helena. Hail her. Either she is not in range or she's not responding. That ship is cursed to make all of its captains go rogue. First Naros, then Faisal, now... In the grand scheme of things, it's one ship. She can wait. Sleep. Good night, Danny. Good night, Elizabeth. Whose bright idea was it to leave space dock in the middle of refit? Ah, you must be Rockney. And who are you? I'm the new captain. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rockney. Helen isn't happy. What is wrong with the ship? We were in the middle of space dock being refitted. Helen likes the attention, and just ripping her away like that... Ah, uh, Helen is the ship, right. She's not happy, and she won't cooperate. Mr. Rockney, do whatever it takes to ensure that the ship is in working condition. Didn't you hear me? Mr. Rockney. What is Helen like? Excuse me? Well, when I'm in a bad mood, I like Bolian pop music and a daiquiri. What is Helen like? Mood lighting. Computer. Dim the lighting in the lower level of the ship by 30%. And orchestras? Computer. Play orchestral music throughout the ship. Low volume. Do you think that'll help Helen get into shape quickly? I think it will. That was impressive. Captain, I'm picking up a low power distress call. Let's hear it. It's text, Captain. Reads, Dr. Hanglar, Ceylon, Lieutenant Dias, and a Helen and Taken by Orion's. Lady in charge is big and red. Send help. And Captain, there's a set of coordinates. We have to go and help them. We have to test your plan against the Arkan wormhole. 
The wormhole will be here once we've rescued them. The longer we wait, the more Arkham ships will come through. Screw it. Helm, lay in a course to Hanglar. Let's just be quick. of this vessel? I am. How dare you kidnap me? I am the daughter of the head of the Ministry of Ethics! Oh, I... wait, wait! Too much talking. Doctor, may I restrain him? That won't be necessary. Who the hell are you? A Starfleet serving on a pirate ship? One call from me and I can have you removed from duty. You're all going to jail! You killed her! You could have stunned her! You're wasting time. Do the mind melt before her brain activity stops. Way too much talking. It's a shame, really. Anything yet? No signal. Shuttle readiness? Vaughn reports ready, but that his Arkin and Kelvin keep glaring at each other. Gillen reports that weapons are operational, but our shields are diminished. What happened? He anticipated working on the slipstream, not battle readiness. <sighs> is Keiko still aboard? He transported to the Arkan vessel moments ago. All right, Stadi, keep looking Incoming for- Incoming signal. The last operational fleet is heading through the wormhole. Arkan military reports that only 60% of the Arkan fleet is set to go through. The rest is without orders. That's odd. Why not take them all through? Does it matter? I guess not. The signal and Nero are ready to proceed. Tell Vaughn to get ready to launch. People of Arkina, my people, I return to you from Tartaron, the place of eternal rest, given a new mission and new purpose by the Great Ones themselves. So much harm has been done in their name. She is meant to be dead. Majan, I don't understand. She lies, Moril. She would turn our people to evil against the Great never One's too plan. Late to return to their ways. Broadcast me back through the wormhole. My people, I implore upon you, do not allow... People of Arkina, do not listen to these lies. The Grand Majan left our land to journey onward. That she did not go says that the Great Ones deemed her unworthy. This is wrong, Serum. We do not take from others, and you seek to invade an entire galaxy. This is our destiny, my people. I have said so from the beginning. We can save our own home. The singularities can be reversed. Peace can be restored. False hope from a false prophet. Decide, my people. Come with me to this paradise or waste away on our kind of choose the path of righteousness choose the true way of the great ones is that it looks like they both had the same idea they're jamming each other captain picking up signal traffic from arkina reports of riots breaking out got another signal here military sounds like they're arguing getting movement now arkin ships taking formation against each other Helm, take us in. Shields up. Shields at 65%. It'll do. Draw that ship away, Stadi. They're headed right for us. Bridge to shuttle bay. Launch. On us. This is going to be confusing, sir. You've been in battle before, Lieutenant. Not battles where the ships keep changing sides. On to Odyssey. We're inside. My Alkin friend is hacked in. The good general shouldn't be far from here. Don't take too long. Keiko says Saren would only staff the wormhole with people fiercely loyal to her. I'll give him your regards, Captain. Mother, please stop this. I do not know what madness has taken your mind, child, but your poison will not cloud mine. I do what is best for our people, for Arkina, 
You lounge in paradise while leaving your people to suffer. Please, come to your senses and return home. It is too late for you. I'm sorry, Mother. Grandma Jean, reports show that the bulk of Arkina is now rebel-controlled. There is great sentiment for your mother. So it must be. Give the order to destroy the wormhole complex. They have sealed their fate. But that would strand our people, so many of our population. If they side with a false prophet, then they are doomed. Mahjong, so many haven't even had a chance to come through the gate. I have spoken. Obey my commands. to see you too, General. If you've come to take me hostage, you'll find that I'm not very worthwhile to the Arkan Empire. Actually, your Grand Majan sent us here to rescue you. Really? Lucky for you, you didn't destroy Odyssey when you had the chance. Luckier still for you. I presume that you have a way to get us out of here? After you. That was quite a risk you took coming to rescue me. It was part of the draw. A prisoner has broken containment. Activate. A prisoner has broken containment. Activate. Emergency seems to be shooting at the sub general. We're trapped. The only way to disable the system is from that console across the room. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm good at what I do. Bond Odyssey. My escorts are both dead. Proceeding with the general. There's a buildup of energy on the station. What's going on, Doctor? Self-destruct. Did you hear that, Odyssey? How long? A bit less than four minutes now. That's not enough time to retrieve the shuttle and get through. Then we'll have to find another way. Vaughn, get back to the ship. Negative, Odyssey. The watermole is your best option. I think I can stop the self-destruct. Get the ship through, and I'll follow in the shuttle. There's no guarantee that- Trust me, Captain. I have a keen survival instinct. I will be through shortly. He's cut the channel. Helm, position us to enter the wormhole. Proceed at one quarter impulse. Aye, sir. Get me a Nira. On screen. It seems we've run out of time. It's now or never. Victory here is nearly ours. Go now and be safe. We're transmitting all we have on reversing the SFC damage. Good luck. And to you, Ronevin. Captain, if we enter the wormhole and Vaughn can't stop the self-destruct... I know. We die. Delora? We must trust Vaughn. Delora the Optimist. All right. Helm, take us in. Self-destruct control is tricky. Odyssey to Vaughn. What can I do for you, Captain? If you don't stop the self-destruct, we're all dead. Well aware of that. I think I found the problem. You go through, and I'll follow as soon as I'm finished. And the wormhole is stable. Are you sure? Better get moving, Captain. All right, we'll see you on the other side. Odyssey out. You can't stop the self-destruct. No, but I can delay it long enough. They'll make it. You lied to them. I know. I thought you said you had a keen survival instinct. <laughs> the crew of the Odyssey believes that I'll do anything to survive any situation, and yes, I would much rather survive to fight another day. But I have a higher duty. General, I came all this way to save you. Perhaps you should take the shuttle and leave. It's just on the corridor. You're... Higher duty was saving me. In centuries past, people in my line of work used to say that they would do anything for queen and country, even die. Warriors laid down their lives for the Welsh kings. My duty is to the safety of the Federation, my empire. For that, I would give everything. And that's all I ever wanted. Man of Arlec, march to glory. 
Reading a high energy signature from our origin point, consistent with a high blast explosion. The shuttle? There wouldn't have been time to launch. Incoming signal, text only. Bought enough time to get Odyssey through safe. Save the Federation. <coughs> Sir, shockwave approaching. Boss, how long till we exit? 40 seconds. What power? 20 seconds! I thought we had 20 more seconds. Never mind, get us to Deep Space 12. Maybe Starfleet's hold out there. Sir? Stadi, how are our shields? Not good, sir. I can get you- Sir! We're not at Baku! Get us a position readout. It's gonna take a minute to recalibrate the sensors to the star patterns. We're at Hobus, near the Romulan system. Romulus? Confirmed, this is Hobus. And a singularity formation zone right behind the sun. That singularity is going to intersect with the sun soon. What'll happen then? The sun goes nova, the system is destroyed. All right, first things first. Can we stop the SFZ? Deflector array is undamaged. ALF particle deployment should be just fine. All right, go ahead, study. Incoming hail. It's on a Romulan repeater signal. This is Romulan traffic control to the unidentified Federation ship. You are in violation of quarantine. Explain yourself. You take that, Subcommander. I'll be in my ready room trying to contact Starfleet. Row to all hands. We made it. Stadi, open a channel to Romulus. Channel open. This is Subcommander Talora, aboard the Federation starship Odyssey. Odyssey? But how did you... The Arkan wormhole delivered us here. Where is your captain? Dead. You are in command. No, first officer. You should tell your captain to get away. There are singularities forming all around your area. We are aware of them, and we are in the process of counteracting them. But we were told Romulus was three months away from certain destruction. Not even the Vulcan Science Academy can help us. Perhaps we can provide you with the full report once we are done here. Odyssey out. Not even a welcome home? To her, we are probably as real as ghosts. I've seen some pretty real ghosts in my time. Time to spatial restoration. It's pretty small. Process will be complete in one hour. Restoration, approximately three days. There is a Romulan mining vessel nearby. Shall I make contact? Negative. We have more important things to do. Do you think it worked? It's too early to tell. But stranger things have happened. It could mean a normal life for Lieutenant Dias. As promised, be careful with it. It's almost time. What? Good girl. We just got access to the ship. No. Not good. Kaleno knows. Entering the asteroid field, Chief. Where would you like me to put us? We have to assume Starfleet knows we're in the area. We'll stay here a while until things calm down a bit, and 
hope for another Arkan offensive to keep them busy. <laughs> so in the hole. Got it. You have the bridge. I have a little matter of a missing data pad to rectify. Chief? Discipline, Toman. It's one of the perks of command. You really don't want to know what I did to your predecessor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a hard one to track down. I give you run of the ship and you end up here. What are you playing at, Kaleno? Shut up. You had such a bright future, sweetheart. Ah! Why? I gave Solana a chance. You only get one. What did you do? Projection. Why? I've done horrible things, Doctor. Unspeakable things. I was dead already. I might as well make it worth something. Yeah. Etahan is dead. Kaleno isn't on to you yet, but my value is about to be reduced to zero. If you can get to Dias, now may be a good time. It's about damn time. Over ten hours without an injection. It's miraculous, really. Now that your life belongs to me, You'd think you'd show me just the smallest amount of appreciation. My life belongs to Dr. Hinkler and Salon. I will never submit to you. Well, it was worth a try. You know, there are far more painful ways to break a person. Of course, since you and I have history, we could forego all of that. Of course, it would take a little effort on your part. Go to hell! <laughs> I was so hoping you'd say that. The fun begins tonight. <laughs> You're sure the wormhole complex was destroyed? There's no other explanation for the explosion or the wormhole shift that threw us here and not Baku. At least their numbers won't be increasing. Projections aren't good. Even without enemy reinforcements, we're no match for them in a head-to-head -head battle. I can have Stadi prepare a report on all we know about Arkan technology. Maybe that will help. Not good enough. Command is recalling you back to Earth for a full debrief. Understood. Who will take command of the ship? Normally, we'd draft from an available pool, but for right now, you're still in command. By order of Starfleet Command, you are to assume official command of the USS Odyssey, effective immediately, with a field promotion to captain. Aye, sir. One more thing. Corey, where is he? I tried the data net, but his location is classified. Until it was destroyed, Commander Astor was being held at Starbase 621. We believe the Helena has him now. Being held? Admiral Corey may be a lot of things, but he's not a criminal. He was under psychiatric care. The Odyssey was considered missing for two years, Nevin. And the Helena did a lot of damage. And he's also convinced that he was visited by the Prophets. Yes, I can vouch for that. I'm sure Corey will get better with time, especially now that you're back. You have your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. And for what it's worth, welcome home, Nevin. I didn't expect such a thorough report so quickly. 
I have maintained it as our mission in Andromeda progressed. One can hardly call it a mission. Regardless, proper documentation was appropriate. Of course. The Tal Shiar will be impressed by your ability. You will probably have your pick of assignment. Thank you, Praetor. Return to Romulus at your earliest convenience. Be prepared to brief the Senate. I take it then my assignment aboard Odyssey is complete. Do you believe you can be of any further use to us there? Not at this time. You have saved Romulus from both assured destruction and the embarrassment of being saved by the Vulcans. Jolan True, Commander. Jolan True, Praetor. Sigmoril to Dr. Vega. Run the tests a third time. The intelligence you requested, sir? So, Odyssey's returned. With probably a treasure trove of Arkan intelligence. Alter course. I want access to the computer systems. Hi, sir. Film. New course. Prepare for war. Bring Cloak online. I think it's time for a reunion, Commander. Incoming message. I said to ignore all hails. We are. This is a message. What does it say? Message reads, We know you are ignoring our hails. You will want to hear this. Answer the next one. Admiral Shelby. Incoming hail from Admiral Shelby. Put it up. Admiral, so nice to see you. We just got our communication system repaired. Of course you did. Good day, Admiral. I take it Aster's there too? Uh, in sick bay. Hmm. I'll keep this brief. Probably for the best. Our comm could blow at any moment. Odyssey is back. The Odyssey? How many Odysseys do we have on active service? Uh, last I checked, none. Well, now we have one. Ronevin is in command. And he's also backing up Aster's profit story. I have a million questions. Well, report to base and they'll be answered. I'm sorry, say again? Report to base. We need every available ship getting ready for us. Admiral. Commander Dow, don't even think about trying to talk to me about Tholian generators or whatever. Hangler. Yes, ma'am. We both know how this is going to go. Captain McFarland, you are ordered to return to base at your best speed for continued repairs and refits. I'm sorry, Admiral. Our comm seems to be malfunctioning. Return to base. Repair your vase? Admiral, you're breaking up. Captain, why didn't Admiral Shelby just order us to go get Hanglar and Dias? Because this is war, Artem. Strategy says that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of a few lost souls. I should go and tell Corey. Damn it! Whatever it is you're planning, I won't be a part of it. Take me back to the station right now. You? You're a part of this now? I won't have it! Corey, we didn't abduct you. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you aren't even Jorian. You made me think that before, remember? Making me see people that aren't there? The station was attacked and destroyed. We had to evacuate. You're on Helena. Six months ago, I thought I was on Deep Space 12. For all I know, I'm on a Klingon freighter. Corey! We need to talk. The Odyssey is back. In the Alpha Quadrant. Nevin? We have to get to him. Starfleet hasn't told us where they are yet. To hell with Starfleet! I want to see my husband! Corey, I understand you want to see Nevin, but it's been two years. You can wait a few more hours. A few more hours? Are you serious? Helena is on its way to save Hangler, his niece, and Dias from Kaleno. We don't know how much time they have. I promise you, we will get you to Nevin. But just stay here, because you're not cleared for active duty. And Corey? I'm sorry. 
Roe confirmed that he had a prophet experience. You were right. Did you just say you were sorry? 18 lifetimes of experience have taught me when saying, I'm sorry, is needed the most. Well, if I can't get to the Odyssey, maybe I can get the Odyssey to come to me. We're getting close. I can see them on long range. Can they see us? Unless they've had a recent upgrade, their sensors aren't nearly as good as ours. Good. <sighs> Mr. Rockney, what can I do for you? Are you planning on taking Helen into combat? Why would you think that? I can't possibly get her combat ready. I thought Helen liked you. I am not a starbase. I see. Women don't get on well with men who have inadequacies. Hey. No, no, I completely understand. But between you and me, Helen will respect you more if you can do as much as you can without a star base. Yeah, but... Trust me, I know these things. Ships can't resist big, strong engineers who don't limit themselves. You are eerily good at that. It's a gift. Captain? I'm picking up a wideband transmission on a secure Federation frequency, broadcasting in all directions. Source? Sick bay. I repeat, this is Corey Astor from the USS Helena. Nevin, I know you're out there. Transmission blocked. Bridge to sick bay. What the hell do you think you're doing? I know we have to save Hanglar, but we- Idiot! We're trying to sneak up on the Orions until you practically screamed our position all the way to Andromeda. I used Starfleet encrypted channels. Do you really think that an Orion pirate capable of tracking and kidnapping Starfleet officers is going to have any problem with encrypted channels? Crap. Bridge to engineering. Mr. Rockney, we may have been detected a little earlier than planned. Do you still have any of those nifty detection avoiding devices installed? Not quickly. Do what you can. Wideband transmission coming in from Starfleet. Commander Corey Astor. Copycat. <laughs> well, this should be entertaining at least. Oh, put it on. I repeat, this is Corey Astor from the USS Helena. Nevin, I know you're out there. <laughs> oh, bravo! Bravo! Boss, you should see this. What is it? The signal degradation is too small. Helena must be close. Get us out of here. Full sensor sweep. Prepare for warp. Where is my guest for the evening? She wasn't in the Med Bay, Chief. Find her! Aye. Go away! Well, if you found her that quickly, I'm going to make you first officer. Ah, precious. <laughs> I've been waiting for this a very long time. <laughs> I keep my promises. Do you? Mm. Ah. <laughs> You are magnificent. Mm -hmm. They're running for the Typhid asteroid belt. Target their weapons and engines only. And fire. Chief, we need you on the bridge. Chief, come in. And Garda Dias. We're two decks below the main bridge. Light resistance. I'm up one deck. I'll meet you at the bridge. Don't underestimate Kaleno. 
<laughs> Quite the opposite, Doctor. She's entered the asteroid field. I expect her to know what she's up against by now. Artem, follow her in. Helena's not slowing for a ship her size. The disruptors are fried. Chief, what do I do? We're slowly chipping away at her shields. This could take some time before we can beam our people out. I don't know if I can stay on her tail forever. We could switch shifts. It'll be fun. Baptist changing course again. Wait. She's playing chicken. Hold fire. Incoming transmission. Let's have it. Helena, hold your fire. We've taken the bridge. The shield should be down now. Is that... Nice to see you too, Doctor. Stand by to beam aboard. Tractor beam? Rope and Dorian. Bridge to Commander Row. A little busy, Laws. We're receiving a wide band transmission from Corey Astor. Let me hear it. I repeat, this is Corey Astor from the USS Helena. Nevin, I know you're out there. Can we find out where it's coming from? I have the coordinates right here, sir. How long at maximum warp? Two weeks at least. Plot a course for Corey's position. Sir, weren't we ordered to report to Earth? The orders didn't say when we had to report. We're going to be taking a little detour. Ensign. Sir. You said the problem was with the stabilizers, Yes, right? sir. And without them, you can run the slipstream for maybe a few hours at a time? With regular breaks, we can get about 20 hours out of it, but that won't get us very far. We don't need to go very far anymore. Come and help me get this attached and running. Report, Lieutenant. Monitoring some strange activity in the ship's memory core. Should we be concerned? Probably just one of many malfunctions. How are the Romulans? Surprisingly complimentary. Yeah, that's good. They want me to return for reassignment. I see. I guess that's expected. I have no further use aboard Odyssey. You can't observe the cloak since it hasn't worked in months, and we'll probably get a new first officer soon from Starfleet. Then I should pack my belongings. I suppose so. Listen up. All hands, this is Captain Rowe. Starfleet has officially given me command of Odyssey, at least for now. We've been ordered to report to Earth for debriefing. We'll be making a detour to the aid of another ship and crew, which was always Odyssey's mission and purpose. A journey that would normally take us two weeks we'll be able to make in a few short hours thanks to our slipstream drive. I'm sure many of you want nothing more than to get off this ship, and I know how you feel. I just ask that you bear with me a little longer. Road to bridge. Stand by for slipstream. You better get off the ship quick, Commander. This is the bridge. Standing by, Captain. I thought you had no further use here. Things change. Receiving reports on an Arkan fleet moving into Tesalhania. Numbers? 
Unknown. An area of singularity creation is restricting available data. Shape suggests a large formation. Teselhania. What would they want there? Teselhania is home to a pulsar which Starfleet has been studying since the Midas project for use in creating stable wormhole technology. Wormholes. All ships, form up on Excelsior. We'll come in behind the pulsar and hopefully catch them off guard. Understood. The fleet reports ready. Helm, lay in a course. All ships, engage. Is Lieutenant Dias going to be all right? She should be. That was quite a nice little transmission you made there. I imagine even the Dominion was moved. What was I thinking? That's what I'd like to know. Jenna. I just got a report on Odyssey's position. They came out in Romulan space. Romulan? They're weeks away. Your message was pointless. Still, nice to see you, Doc. Likewise. I'm releasing you to limited duty. Don't make me put you back in the force field, mister. Dorian? Yes, Captain? There's nothing to do. Captain? Wormhole's gone. Captain, wormholes just don't go. Well, this one did. Obviously blew it up. So my ingenious plan? Is still ingenious, just not really needed anymore. I see. That's good. I'm sure you'll find another way to prove yourself invaluable. Where to, Captain? Back to the fleet. Starbase something or other. Or wherever you find a large concentration of allied ships. We'll let them sort out the leftovers of the Orion crew. Aye, Captain. Commander, you remember that malfunctioning memory core sector? Yes. It's not malfunctioning. Good. It's programming itself. Can you stop it? I don't know. Lieutenant, computers should not program themselves. I know that. Hang on. I haven't much time to explain. The good general before his arrest planted a computer virus that once activated would render the Ark fleet completely inert. That file you're watching assemble itself is Mordecai's activation program. It needs to be inserted into an Ark and engineering console of any ship and it'll transmit all others in range. Good luck. Sorry I won't be there to see your work. It's been an honor. Program complete. Bridge to Captain Rowe. There's something you need to see. You sure you're feeling up for this, Lieutenant? Good as new, ma'am. Besides, any more of Dr. Hanglar and he'd be the one needing the treatment. I figured it was in both our best interest. It's good to have you back, Lieutenant. Hmm. We're being hailed by Odyssey. Audio only. Put it through. Helena, this is Captain Rowe on board the USS Odyssey. Do you read? Odyssey, we can barely hear you. How are you transmitting so far? En route to you. Estimate arrival 15 minutes. One five minutes. Don't leave the... Do you copy us, Helena? Did he just really say 15 minutes? That is what it sounded like, Captain. I don't see them on long range. All right. A drop out of warp, Artem. We'll stay here for a bit. Dropping out of warp. Thrusters at station keeping. All ships reporting in. Arkan forces have not picked us up yet. Signal all ships to move into attack pattern Gamma-1. Have we heard anything from the Odyssey or Helena? Neither ship is where it is supposed to be. 
Helena has stopped again. No surprise there. Remind them again. All hands, battle stations. Sir, I'm getting a message from the Odyssey, for your eyes only. I'm a little busy here, Lieutenant. This display will have to do. Satal, forward to Odyssey, our current situation and battle plan. Our expeditionary force to the Tezelhania system reports contact with enemy forces. What are your orders? That system could prove useful in creating wormholes to other areas of the galaxy. We should hold it at all costs. Have them engage. Yes, Grand Majon. However, were they to receive reinforcement, I could not assure victory. Perhaps a more defensible position near the station would be a better stand. The Great Ones will protect us, General. Our fleet has nothing to worry about. Yes, Grand Majon. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Stadi, open a channel. Channel open. Helena, this is Odyssey. We think we may have found a way to end the Arkan occupation once and for all. But first, I think we could all use a reunion. Are we transmitting? Yes, sir. Odyssey to Helena. Getting text only. Something about damage to the communications array. They've lowered shields. Prepare to beam aboard. Acknowledge. Wait. Something's not right. Raising shields! Damn it! What? Who are you? Captain Benjamin Maxwell. Welcome home, Captain Rowe. All the better to surround them. Have the Discovery and Antietam lead the right flank to coordinates 090. All ships, continue fire. Incoming subspace message. It's Admiral Rand returning your hail. On screen. I don't know what to make of this, Elizabeth. Even if you can get someone aboard with Odyssey's sabotage program, there's no guarantee that the virus will spread to the entire Arkan fleet. Concentrate your efforts elsewhere. Brand out. Acknowledge the message. Yes, ma'am. Send a subspace message to the Odyssey and tell them to get here as soon as possible. I'm not usually the worrier, but with that fancy slipstream, Odyssey should have been here by now. Dias, any sign of them? Scanning. Nothing in system. Scanning nearby sectors. Shelby's fleet has engaged the Arkan in the Tesselhania system. Captain, I have a possible match two light years away. Transponder match for USS Odyssey. But they're not alone. Let's go. Maximum warp. There's little time, Mr. Rowe. You have the means to bring down the Ark and fleet. We have the means to get it aboard an Arkan ship. I need you to trust me. Benjamin Maxwell, Captain of the Phoenix, Federation traitor. Reactivated during the Dominion War. Suspected 31 operative. Not bad for the Tal Shiar. It's a good thing we're all on the same side. You were Vaughn's mentor. I read the Captain's report. Vaughn had a good heart. Why did you trick us into coming here? I need Vaughn's program chip. And I need you to understand we're all on the same side. Don't follow us. Follow your orders and report back to Earth. Captain, wait! Captain, what the- More Section 31. They want the virus. You're right. It's gone. Sir, the other ship is leaving. Any sign of Helena? I've got a bearing on her, warping this way. 
Tell her to alter course and to follow us. Laws, triangulate the other ship's course and follow. The warp signature is scattered. I can't triangulate. Stadi, Shelby's report. Where did it put the Arkan fleet? Uh, Tellez, Tesley. Land a course for Teslehania. That's got to be where they're headed. Engage. Rotate shields and bring us about. We've lost the Glory and the Gibraltar. The Arkan have lost several smaller ships. Reinforcements? Not on the Arkan side. Admiral Rand has sent a task force. ETA? Two days. Nobody wins at this game. We just beat each other to a pulp. Damn it, where's the Odyssey? No other ships on sensors. We may have to withdraw and regroup. Plot deployment for an extended retreat. Aye, sir. I'm rigging a site-to-site -site transport right now. I want to see you too, Corey, but we have to get through this. I don't trust Maxwell, and neither does Talora. If they fail, we'll lose everything we fought for. It's in the computer still, isn't it? The program, yeah, but the delivery chip was a one-time thing. It replicated, then deleted itself. Well, we'll have to create a new system then. I'm coming over. Science Lab 2. Maxwell was hiding a lot. Maxwell may have good intentions, but he's broken enough rules to make an Orion sweat. If he succeeds in pulling this off, I'll be arrested. If not, that's where we come in. What's the plan? Arkin take over. Uh, right. Uh, uh, Maxwell will probably try and use his hollow cloak to get close to the Arkin and get aboard. That worked so well the last time we tried it. So our plan is. Uh, given I've had about three seconds to think about it. There's plenty of time for you. Um, okay. Uh, you remember how the tetrahedrons transferred energy across subspace? Uh, they're transmission relays. So what? The tetrahedrons use a set of high-powered frequencies to transfer large amounts of energy and information across subspace. Arkin systems use similar relays. It's one of the things we learned from the Iliad probe before it was destroyed. And this helps us how? Why carry a package when we can transmit the virus directly into their system? The relays connect every system. It's an advanced network. But won't they have safeguards against that? And good ones, too. I, I never said it would be easy. Right, so let's get started now. Stadi, inform to Laura. Yes, sir. Are you real? I don't know what's real or what's not anymore. You know what? I don't care. Doc, can approach nominal, Captain. She seems to be accepting our codes. Steady. Steady now. Power docking interrupted. Bay doors are closing. They're onto us. Full speed ahead. That's suicide. We're out of options. Prepare to beam me aboard once we breach the perimeter shields. Penetrating shield wall in five, four, three, two, energize! One of their transports just took out a battleship. Never second-guess charity, Satal. Odyssey? I have two ships entering long range. Could be Federation. Let's hope so. You really didn't think they would change the security codes? Of course they would, but this, this is completely different. 
You need a translator? You read Arkin? I've seen a display or two. General Morgue, you didn't anticipate we need to hack communication, so there's no back doors for us to use. This one here, that's a dead end. And this one, that's royal family only, nothing technical. Uh, just find the right one, Josh. Okay, let's see. How about food processing? Nope. How about auxiliary food processing? <sighs> auxiliary systems, so easy to hack. Bridge to the captain. We're approaching Tesalhania. What's your status? Uh, on my way. They're just putting the finishing touches on it now. You guys are putting the finishing touches on it now, right? I still need to disguise the virus. 15 minutes? Take as long as you want. However, I cannot guarantee how long we will have a ship. <sighs> Stadi, open a channel. You're on. This is the Odyssey. We have a plan to disable the Arkin but we need cover until we can begin. This is what you've been waiting for, Admiral. We're preparing to retreat. You've got five minutes, then we're getting out of here, all of us. Activate the transmitter and connect the data stream. We're connected. Now we just wait for a node and let the virus do its thing. Oh, crap, it's collapsing. Come on, come on. 20 seconds. The Arkans are attempting to shut down all their outside communications. We must have triggered a fail-safe. I don't know, try hailing them. Predictably no response. It was worth a try. At least they had to take a second to ignore us. The fleet is beginning to fall back. Keep flanking Odyssey, Artem. You don't have to tell me twice. All ships, fall back to the Browder system. We'll regroup there. Corey! Do this. Five seconds. Report. Enemy ships have stopped firing and appear to have lost helm control. It worked? I think it worked. Confirmed. All enemy ships are powering down, just like Domino's. And the rest of the fleet? Too early to tell. But if they're like our subspace relays, it won't be long before they're all affected. Contact Admiral Shelby and request permission to set a course for Baku. Aye, sir. Grand Majon, Federation and our allies are launching a major offensive. They're heading this way. Regroup our forces to counter them. What are the results of that test? I was concerned with the validity of the results. I'm having them run again. What concern? I'm sure it's nothing. You will bear a boy as you wish. Grandma Jean, would it not be prudent for you to seek the safety of the Federation outpost? I can think of no safer place than this paradise. Without shields, you are the target of enemy transporters, at least on the station. I am not alarmed. We will stay here. Yes, Grandma Jean. Easier than Tongo. We shouldn't let our guard down yet. The bulk of the Arkan fleet is still in the Baku system. Agreed. Even if they haven't broken the DS-12 lockouts, they may have installed their own weapons. I guess we just hope they've connected their weapons to the subspace network too. Well, on to the Baku system then. First one to DS-12 gets a promotion. Laws, fire up the slipstream. Hey, that's not fair. The enemy is using our own security systems to render our ships inert. All with the manual systems on board the Federation station are non-functional. You mindless fool. Why were you not prepared for this? General Morrigue, this is his doing. Our fleet is lost. I should kill you for your stupidity. Grand Majan, I have been your loyal servant, the father of your child. Then serve me now and find me an escape. I cannot. I trusted you, and you lied to me. What is this treachery, Marill? You have condemned us to die in a galaxy as broken as our home. And your precious boy is the gods. I forbid you to leave your Marjan. Think of this child, our people's future. Our people's future is in Arkina. 
And since we have arrived, your interest to become more self-serving, unconcerned for your own people, and your child. Did God die by your hand? I would rather have no child than a child by you. This is General Moril of the Arkan Empire. On behalf of the Grand Majon Serum, I surrender. You will find her on the planet below. We will accept whatever fate you put upon us. Arkan General, prepare to be boarded. Confirmed. Station power readings negligible. Assemble a heavily armed away team and have them beam over. Aye, sir. Roe, Aster, McFarland, meet me at the Metreon Cloud. I owe you all a drink. Riser? Nothing is going to stop us this time. Sounds like famous last words, if you ask me. You should join us. Does Helen like to swim? Are you kidding? Ugh. Congratulations on your new pip, Jorian. Thanks. Practical exile in Andromeda. I think Starfleet wanted to put me somewhere out of the way. It should only take Helena a few weeks to return home with a reliable slipstream drive. True. We should arrive about a week after the prisoner transport gets there, so tensions may be high. Fun galaxy to be a diplomat in? Maybe the Arkan will better appreciate your 18 lifetimes of experience. Good luck, Jorian. Your promotion came through, Artem. Dow can check first officer off of his list. Sure you're ready for another galaxy? If I were you, I would want some time off. Well, I spent a month with my father. It's nice to have a home that never changes, but this is where I want to be. Helena and the Excelsior, they're my family now. As long as you have family, you can do anything. Take care of yourself, Commander. Aye, sir. Barrett, you have the ship. I'll be on the station. Yes, ma'am. We really missed you at the party. I think I've had my fill. I hear you could be up for a parole in another year. Starfleet tends to go easy when everything works out for the best. Small miracles, huh? What will you do? I don't suppose you'd save my seat for me. Not unless you want to hunt me down in another galaxy. New orders. I'm taking Helena to Andromeda as part of Arkan Reconstruction. We'll finally be doing some exploring again, with the help of a pretty decent Kelvin map. You've done good, Jorian. You still didn't tell me what you plan to do. I think a relaxing life calls me on Risa. And if I get bored, there's always the merchant fleet. How's Corey? Recovering. It'll take some time, but I think that Roe has that under control. Thanks, Jorian. Teresa? You'll make a fine captain. Say hello to the crew for me. Captain. Singularities, damn section 31. I just, I just can't stop I, thinking about it all. I get it, I get it. You know, you're gonna have these dreams for a while. The last two years have been hell. And it's over now. 
Sometimes I just have to prove it to myself. Corey, I'm here. What more proof do you need? <laughs> to actually make it to Ryza for once. You cannot be tried here, my daughter. You will not find any able or willing to protect you from those you have wronged. We will leave you in the hands of those you attempted to invade. What of my child? He will be raised to not know you. We can only hope that he carries the spirit of his father. Mother, please. I have been assured you will be well taken care of in your incarceration. You are the song of my heart. You can persuade her. Come. Admiral. Doctor, what can I do for you? I'd like permission to return to the coal. Request denied. Admiral. I think it's time that you and your niece spent some time with sky above your heads, instead of bulkheads. Two weeks leave, no less. The coal will be waiting. This is an incredibly unusual request, Commander. Let me be honest, Praetor. I have no desire to command a ship of my own at this time. And the Tal Shiar is still rebuilding itself. But you could be a part of that rebuilding. When the Foundation is laid, perhaps. But not now. You said that I should be where I can be of most use. I believe it is here. Is it possible that we find ourselves on the cusp of all-out peace in both the Alpha and Beta Quadrants? Unlikely when you consider the Klingons. Very well. If that is your wish. It is. The Senate will expect regular reports. Of course. Jolan True. Romulan on the bridge. Do that once more and I will not approve your request to remain aboard the Odyssey for its next mission. That's something the first officer does. Exactly. No way. It appears that Starfleet Command finds my presence here valuable, as well as an effective gesture of peace. Starfleet Command doesn't always make the right decisions. Get used to this one, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am. So does this mean you'll be wearing a Starfleet uniform? No. You picked a color finally. Yeah, I think I've done every job on this ship, but I enjoy engineering most. Well, you can have it. I'm done with this room. Where are you going? Home, and then to the Trill Science Academy for some engineering research. Nice. This won't be the same without you. I know it'll actually have a real engineering crew. <gasps> Evan. Yeah? I can't find my communicator. Oh, I... I think I left our comm badges behind. How could you forget those? I didn't. Evan, I have to contact my psych evaluator at least once a week. And there are private comm suites in the lobby. I wanted our time together to be alone for once and uninterrupted. It's captain's privilege. Besides, Odyssey will be in space dock for at least three months until Laura can handle whatever needs to be done. You think of everything. I do. <laughs> and in 8.4 minutes, you and I are going to have dinner together. Hmm. I guess I better unpack. I guess I better help you. <laughs> Captain on the bridge.
Has the diplomatic team settled in yet? Yes, sir. They seem happy with their accommodations. Bridge to engineering. Status of the slipstream core. It's a big, ugly power drain. Helen loves it. I hate it. I asked for status, not commentary, Mr. Rockney. It's working. Helm, leave Doc one quarter impulse. Dias, ramp up structural integrity fields. Structural integrity fields up. Excited about being the first truly intergalactic diplomats? <sighs> Can't wait, sir. From Odyssey's reports, it's a volatile, hostile region with far too much bad blood between the major factions. You know, that sounds a lot like the Klingons, Romulans, and the Federation. I guess it does. We are clear of the station and in open space. Ready for Slipstream. Enter Slipstream on my mark. Mark. Tell of the storm-tossed man, O Muse, who wandered long after he sacked the sacred citadel of Troy. Many cities did he visit, and many were the nations with whose manners and customs he was acquainted. Moreover, he suffered much by sea, while trying to save his own life and bring his men to safety. Thus then did the man wait, and pray, and entreat upon his lords for guidance. Yet when the bright star that set the course to dawn began to fade beneath his horizon, he spent his time upon the rocks, weeping, crying aloud for his despair, and always looking out upon the sea. But fortune, the gods, or the prophets, smiled upon the man, and through his hardships, steered his way home. Thank you.